Hello and welcome to my bridge tutorial on how to create your own add-on for Minecraft. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic item. Okay, it's not going to do anything, but it will be visible in game. It will have the correct texture and name. You'll be able to hold it, throw it. Basically, it's just an item. Okay, um, so the first thing I've done is actually create myself this little green apple look. Okay, I literally took the Minecraft apple and recolored it. As easy as that. So you can see here, I've got the apple. I've opened that in my editing software. I've changed the color of it and then I've saved it as apple underscore green. Okay, so you could be doing any item. It could be a different sort of bone. It could be, it could be whatever you want it to be, basically. Um, but once you've created your sprite, what you then want to do is come into bridge and I like to get the resource done first because it helps then when we go into the behavior pack. So in resource pack, okay, now I'm assuming that you've watched my first video or you already know how to set up your project and you've done this already. Um, but in resource pack, I'm going to go for textures and I'm actually going to right click this and then click reveal in file explorer. And then down the bottom, you can see here it is blinking at me. It's showing that the folder's open. So this here, you can actually see we've got sounds, we've got texts, textures. This this correlates basically to Bridge. This is where Bridge, this is Bridge's little workspace. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into textures. I'm going to then create, so new folder, and I'm going to call this items. Okay, and then I'm going to go inside there, and I'm going to grab our green apple, or whatever, whatever sprite you've got in your case, and I'm going to drop that in. So I'm going to close my assets folder here. And I'm actually going to close this items folder here. Now back into bridge. If we look just under where it says resource pack. There's a little arrow. It says refresh. If I click that. We can now see the items folder has appeared. And our green apple is now being recognized by bridge. Okay. So we can see it within bridge. Now the next thing I want to do is further down we have got item texture.json so i'm going to click that i'm going to click texture data and then i'm going to add object and here i'm going to start with my project namespace so for me i'm using cyan and they're going to use a colon so you should already have your own namespace and then i'm going to call this apple underscore green just like i saved the image as and I'm going to make sure that every time I reference this item I'm writing this in the same way okay I'm then going to click enter and now straight away it's opened up this little textures box so I'm going to click textures okay I'm then going to open it up again and click zero and then it's now it's, it's almost moved me over to the add value box so I'm going to click that and you can see here that it's found our texture okay so we've got textures slash items slash apple green and that's that that now if i press ctrl and s and then close that that now is our item in the game in terms of the texture okay the texture can be found but there's no way of actually having the item yet what we need to do is now go into our behavior pack and go along the top here we're going to go new file I'm going to scroll down the side here to item so this little sword and then i'm going to in the name i'm going to put apple underscore green okay so we're being consistent we're keeping the same naming format throughout and then in templates i'm actually going to go for blank item now you could look through the list of templates and even pick so for instance i'm doing an apple i could pick apple but I don't know what you're doing so we're going to do this from scratch because it helps learn basically we can just copy anything in here but for now i'm going to do it with a blank item okay and then we're going to hit create and what this is going to do is create a couple of bits for us firstly this format version here it doesn't know what format version we're running in so we're going to click this little bulb for auto fix and you can see there that it's changed it to 1.16.100 now 
this all depends on as on when you're doing this my whole project is set up in 16.100 um if you're doing it later on then it'll it'll be a different version but basically just click the bulb let it fix itself that's why bridge is really good for this the next thing we want to do is this little minecraft item here we can drop this down and then we have a description and we have a components uh, tab now the components doesn't have anything in the description has this identifier tab now if i click on the identifier it's actually opened this up already and it it can already see that we're adding this green apple okay so i'm going to click that and boom it's done the identifier is set up okay there are other things we can add in here but we're not worried about that right now okay the next thing we want to do just for our basic item is click on components and then when I click here you can see all the different components that we can apply to an item okay now there's lots and lots of components here there's actually not quite all of them if you remember in the original in the setup video I recommended going to bedrock.dev because there's a lot more components um, than bridge actually has but for now bridge is gonna do us fine okay we can use bridge and get our item into the game so the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna go for max stack size okay and then this is where if you were creating a sword then you'd go one because you only ever have a stack of one um, if you were doing eggs or ender pearls for instance they're 16 and I'm going to, oh, because I'm creating an apple, I want this to be 64. Now, if you've selected a number and want to change it, if you look down in the bottom right here, you can see the one. I'm going to highlight that and do 64, press enter, and that's done. Okay, and what I'll do is I'm actually going to delete that and do it again. So back into components, max stack size, and then in here, this scroll down, it'll only go to five, but this is where you could have typed 64 okay but as i say if you click this click 64 if you ever want to edit it this is where you're gonna gonna change it okay the next thing i want to do is back onto components or still in components should i say we are gonna add a creative category okay now as it stands the apple will end up in the generic items tab but it's handy to come in here anyway and get used to using this um, just in case you want it in a different tab so we're going to go parent and then in add value I'm going to type items and like so we have our creative category and the parent for that is items okay the next thing we want to do then is again we're going to add an object so we've still we've still got components highlighted here we're going to click add object and I'm going to type in icon so this is now going to tell this apple behavior what resource to use what texture to use when it's in the game so minecraft colon icon and then if i click add object we can go texture now frame we're not going to use at the moment and i won't be covering but i think that's more for animated textures or at least textures that could be changed um, but i'm going to go texture and then in add value if everything's been done okay so far we could actually pick our in my case it's cyan apple green okay yours could be joe blogs and then new item whatever it is you're adding and then the last thing we now want to do is add object again now you can see here it's come up frame that's because i've still got the icon selected here so what i'm going to do is go back up to components now click this and we've got all of them different components again and I'm going to type in display okay so we have look minecraft display name I'm going to click this and it it says value and then we're going to add a value and this is where you name your item this is how it's going to display in the game so I'm going to put green apple okay you can do capitals in here you can do spaces because this isn't part of the code as such this is how it's going to appear in the game itself so i'm going to press enter and then that is basically it you've you've now got a new item in the game so what i'm going to do is Control s to save that and close that 
I'm going to minimize bridge and I'm actually going to load up Minecraft. Okay, so we're at the main screen here. And before I go into the game, one thing I want to advise you guys on is go into settings, go down to profile and then scroll down to content log settings. And you're going to see two little boxes here that you can turn on. I turn them both on. And the reason for this is because if you've done something wrong, it will then flash up at the top of the screen and you'll be able to see a content log of what's gone wrong. And it should help you fix any problems that you have. Um, but let's go play. And then I'm going to create a new world. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go down to the add-on section, behavior packs, my packs. And you can see here my example pack that I'm making. And I'm going to activate that. Okay, it will come up, obviously, saying turn off achievements. That's fine. Let's go. The next thing is just to double check. I'm going to go into resource packs. Now, if they're linked up properly, when you activate the behavior pack, it should activate the resource pack for you. So the example resource pack is already in there. So that's work. That's fine. Now what I want to do is come up to game. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to experiments and I'm going to turn on holiday creator features and it says here active activate experimental gameplay so we're going to go yes and this I'd always always turn this on um, you can see here creation of custom biomes if you're doing if you're making biomes then turn that on you've got some other bits and pieces but for now we just need the holiday creator features I'm then going to scroll back up world type i'm going to change to flat that then automatically puts me into creative i'm going to go multiplayer and just turn that off and we're all good the behavior pack and resource pack are active we've turned on the creator the holiday creator thing and let's go create so you can see at the top there there are some errors but them errors are actually from my rtx pack that I haven't got on right now but if we go into our creative inventory and I'm going to type in apple and look at that you can see the vanilla apples and then you can see our new green apple okay the name is right we can see the texture and we have our new item we basically we've done it okay that is the basics of creating a brand new item within the game now whether that's a food, whether that's a weapon and recipes and stuff like that is going to be a future video. But for now, that's a custom item in the game. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, hit that like button on the way out. And until next time, take care. Stay cool. Bye bye.